Yo, Joel. Yo. Yo, do you have the batteries for these, bro? We need this for filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, this felt like... Bro, I think... Without this light, I don't think we could film because this is, like... This is, like, the main yeah, light. This is, like, the main right light. Here. Yeah. And uh, this is the one you just bought, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I had the fucking batteries. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because, like, this one, this one is fucking... Wait, is this the, is this the, the Titanium 9? No, it's just the MP7 batteries are right here. Okay, yeah, bring the batteries, y'all. Like, because we better start filming before the fucking, before the sun goes down, man. Look at this. Bro, the batteries are right fucking here, bro. Let's okay. go. Okay, can you just bring them? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, my God. Just put the batteries in here. Jesus Christ. Bro, take the fucking batteries, man. <laughs> What's up, cousins? Welcome back to another episode of So Primos. My name is Melvin Diaz. I'm Joel Romero. And uh, what a unique uh, jacket you have on right now. Yeah, man. I just found this recently, and I just really felt it, like it was appropriate for today's episode. It's your Thea's jacket. Well, looks, she passed away. She passed away. Thanks, man. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? <laughs> thanks, man. But like, long live her legacy through me, baby. Because I'm wearing this shit. I look like a bad bitch. I look like fucking Trinity from The Matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Neil. Some might say I look like Morpheus. Some might say you look like uh, Wesley Snipes and in, uh, in, in you you kill vampires. In Some, Blade. Someone said, oh, in, oh, hey. I, hey, fuck, I fuck with that shit. Fuck you, I fuck man. with that fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Shut your idiot ass up, man. Yeah, you look like uh, you, you, you're a hunter. Yes, I want to say something about your outfit, but you always wear this goddamn outfit, dude. Oh, and, uh, you, you're it's getting kind of you, old. You get intimidated when I, when I wear it. No, because you wear the same jersey. At least buy a different jersey. No, that shit's worn out, okay. dude. Yeah, I like Shaq. That shit says Lando. Not even Orlando no more, man. That shit's all fucked up. <laughs> Lando Carlucci. Car yeah. Lando Car okay, that's fine. Dude, but uh, how, how do you feel like after our, after our li little weekend stint? <laughs> little weekend. Uh, 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 shindig. Oh, dude. Should we tell the people? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, Saturday I'm enjoying my night. I had a very stressful weekend, right? So, uh, you know, come Saturday evening, I'm like, oh, I'm going to unwind. I'm going to sip some cut waters. Shout out to cut water, man. They, two or three will get you going real good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's right. And uh, I'm already enjoying my evening. I'm already, really, like, like the song says, tipsy. You know what I mean? Everybody in the club is get tipsy. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. And, uh, and who, who, what did you do? What did you do? You called me. No, okay, well, uh, who called you? Your best friend. One of your favorite people on the earth. My soul primo. Your soul primo called you, and I was like, hey, dude, what are you doing? And then you're like, oh, fucking lit, right? And, and I was like, bet, 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 bet. Uh, I'm coming back from Bur uh, from Moore Park. I'm at a wedding. Listen, let's get a beer. And you're like, don't play with me. I'm like, for real, let's get a beer. I'll pick you up, right? So go get a beer. I mean, we go, I go pick you up, right? And then you're stressed out of your mind for some reasons. And then uh, we go out. We go to a bar to bar to bar. You know, we fucking, first we go to a liquor store. We get our drinks. What's your, you got some weird, like, champagne-looking oh. fruity drink, dude. That's the thing that fucked you up a little yeah, bit. Because yeah, yeah. I got some manly shit. I got some Michelob Ultras. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, got to watch the health, watch the body, watch the calories. You got, like, some fruity. I don't think it even was champagne. What was it? It was like a wine. It was like a, a champagne wine type of thing. Yeah, but like the the, the but it's like the known case. to it's like known to like mess you up. Yeah, and I bought a whole bottle of it. Yeah, the bottle, the cover, the plastic, the the, the outer uh, plastic is like colorful. It's fruity. Has all these fucking uh, uh, yeah. colors on it. So we pregame, but then we end up going to this uh, uh, this bar. And tell me about the, you were disgusted by how many Mexicans were in the bar. Oh, wait, no, 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 shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, let's be real. No, let's no, be real. no, no. Okay, because, okay, we went to a couple bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's, let's backtrack. Yeah. The first bar we went to, it was kind of like a rougher part of Los Angeles. Yeah, Outside, yeah. it was like homeless, it was yeah, dirty, it was, it was a grimy. dive bar, bro. Literally, as we were walking to this bar, this gentleman in a bicycle is smokes oh, crack from a pipe. Yeah, the thickest and blows smoke. out the smoke in our face, and we're just like, "Where the? What are we doing? Yeah, here? it's so yeah. thick, it's yeah. heavy. Like you can't. You have to. We like both close our mouth and stop holding our breath. No, no. Joe was like, <laughs> I was like, "Give me some of that shit." Dude. <laughs> so we go in there, and then it's weird because like everybody is like white. Oh yeah, this was the strangest thing because it was a rough part of town. Uh, we just saw someone do crack right in front of us. We walk in thinking that it's gonna be like. 
like, oh, a bunch of tough guys, a bunch of, you know, this and this and that. Yeah. Come to see, it's just a bunch of white hipsters. Yeah, they're all fucking hip. They're all, they all look like Mac DeMarco. They're yeah. all, like, chill, yeah. laid back, fucking thrift yeah, store shops. they all look like they have blogs. Yeah, you know, yeah. or vlogs, yeah, either yeah, or. Yeah. And then uh, they all got the beer. They all got, like, the little, uh, everything's, like, oversized. Beanies. Beanies, beanies. beanies and stuff like that. They yeah. have the beanies that they, like, kind of, like, fold into, like, a mushroom, oh, which yeah, I fucking yeah. hate that shit. Why? Like, that's my least favorite way to wear a beanie. I think it's cute. No, just put the whole thing on. Put the whole thing on. When people wrap it up, it looks like a little nip on top of your head. I don't like that look. But a lot of people at the bar were wearing that or using that style. And then the little mustaches. And the only good thing about that is like we were looking around. We're like, okay, there's a lot of whites here, which is no big deal. We love the white people. But, yeah, yeah, shout but shout you know, at a certain part, at a part of town, that part of town, you want to be like, okay, where's my people at? You know what I'm saying? Thankfully, the bartender was cool. And uh, the drinks, you know, you know me. I like to bitch about the drinks. The, the drinks were a fair price. Very fair price. Yeah, and yeah. we you know we got a couple of beers, but you know, it wasn't really our vibe. So we were like, okay, why don't we just go to another bar that uh is kind of close to here? And uh I've never been to it, but it yeah. always looks packed. Yeah. Let's go. And um it's probably one of the most jarring bar experiences that I've had. Yeah. Just because it's something that I've never experienced before. Yeah. We walk into this bar and it's packed, right? Yeah. Packed with what? With straight up bison men. Men, men, most of us. <laughs> you know, paisa, spices for those who don't know are kind of like, uh, how, how would you how would you describe a paisa? I don't know, authentic Mexican. When I think about paisa, I think about someone from a rancho. You know what yeah, I mean? Someone like that. Darker dude. skinned. Well, I, that's, skin color don't matter. I don't really see skin color. You but I'm like from the rancho, paisa? you know, he's a, he's very, uh, you know, they're alcoholic, drinkers. You know, some of these people don't really you know, want to go home We're to their families. Hats. We're about hats. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so at first we were like looking around, it's packed, it's like little little grimies and tens, right? And then we realized that it's all men. Yeah, all men. And in my 28 years of experience on this planet Earth that I love so dearly, uh, I've never walked into a bar establishment and, uh, and seen only men. I, it's always, a, it could be a majority men, but then, you know, there's some women sprinkled here and there. No, 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 that bar was all men. And yeah. There must have been... 80 men in there. Yeah, and you forget that you're just like, you were like five minutes away from the other bar yeah. because you go in there, you feel like you're in like Tijuana or Jalisco yeah. or something. The music is playing, the music, they got Chalino playing. Yeah, yeah dude. Like, yeah, and then this. everybody, no one speaks English. I go to the, the waiter is like, uh, she starts speaking like Spanish, but I couldn't really understand it because like I couldn't hear it was loud. And you're she's like, like, get closer, get closer. <laughs> get closer, come on, come on, come here, stay right here. Yeah. And she's like, te wanna sentar? I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, si, 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 right? And then we sit down and then we just start looking around and we're like, all oh, these foods are fucking getting fucked up. Uh, they're pounding. The only women are the are the servers, the bartenders, yeah. and then a woman. Every girl that walks around, like <laughs> all the fucking everybody in the bar is like, oh, fuck and it's yeah. just like, bro, they they look like your your uncle, like your grandpa, your Theo. You know what I mean? Like it, it's just like. It's just like, you should be home with your family. You're 50, 60 years yeah. old. What are you doing here? Well, what is our theory? What, what theory did we, did we co- theory, what conclusion did we come to? Our, our hypothesis and hypothesis. our theorem was that uh, these gentlemen are the type of gentlemen that worked hard all week and they just don't want to go home and they just want to get a, like a little ounce of freedom and, and enjoy life and go drink. Yeah. But they're doing it all wrong. They're doing yeah. it at a bar with hundreds of other men yeah and it's just like they got no game bro it's just like bro go home to your wife dog i know at that point go home to your wife the wife is like why aren't you coming home I'm like i'm fucking working leave me alone god you don't make money what, are you, what do you want from me right yeah, yeah, yeah. and they just go to the bar start pounding try to flirt with yeah. the girls and shit what i did like about that bar i will say this it's like we got like one or two beers and then uh the girl was like oh how, mu- how much are you gonna tip me i'm like oh shit Right? She just told me sure like in Spanish, like, ¿Cuánto me vas a tipiar? I was like, uh, I wanted yeah. to say nothing, but uh, I gave her like four bucks. Oh, and, uh, dude, they probably make bank. That's what the, I'm all, saying, the, all those horny dude. ass older Mexican foods that are like, hey, mira, hey, ¿Cu- no, ¿cu- ¿cuánto quieres? Yeah, ¿cuánto quieres? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably make serious bank, dude. Oh, yeah, man. But it's just, I've never experienced anything like that. Like, having like, just like, it looked like it was just like a room full of my deals. Yeah, dude. And it was like, I, I got up to go to the bathroom and they would all just stare at me. And I'm just like, what the They f- stared at you as soon as we got inside. Dude, yeah. The people at the bar were just like this. Fuck. <laughs> they start speaking English, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, no, pues sí, pues sí. Wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my, uh, look at you. Oh Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> it's true. The people, people were like, 
like almost in shock of how big you were. Yeah, and I think it's like uh, I get that. I'm used to that. I'm used to that. And you know, my little brother. Uh, that's actually funny you bring that up because uh, I brought. You know, how I brought up my little brother last week. Yes. About how he was just like you should dress differently because you're scary or whatever. He's he's just my size. Yeah. He, he's he's 18. He's like a little bit shorter than me, but he's big. You know, he's a big guy, and he hates when people give him attention because of his height. Really? He Why? hates when people ask him about how tall he is. And I, he, he, he asked me for advice, and I was like, brother, you just got to get used to it, man. You yeah. just got to get, you just got to roll with it. How tall is he? He's like six? Six three. Six three. Damn, six he's a three, big boy. He's like, he's like bigger than me. Yeah, he's a big boy, dude. And there's nothing wrong with him, man. I think you're, you're ahead of the curve. You're ahead of the game. When he started, when he started, he's like, how old is he? 17, 18? 18. Oh, yeah, he's perfect. In a dating, he's in a dating pool. When he's six three, you're ahead of everybody else right now, dude. You're ahead of the fucking game, dude. I'll tell you this. When I was at that bar, I did feel intimidated. I felt like I wasn't even a Mexican. I felt really? like when I was next to when I, when I was next to such authentic Mexican, I just felt like Ooh, I'm scared, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that you know that quotes like a, a Chrysler 300 looks like a phantom till a real phantom pulls yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you're Mexican until fools, I, a real Mexican pulls up. Like, I'm like, oh, excuse me. You know what's so crazy? I used to feel like that too. Yeah. Um, growing up, and even even to this day, like I feel like uh, when I'm around like fucking pure Latinos. Yeah. By, by pure, I mean like. Like, they're really Latinos. Like, sometimes we hung out with, like, you know, when we hang out with PLP, yeah. they're Latinos, and, like, uh, uh, we, we, we get along really well, but I feel like there's moments where they they mention things, and I'm just like, oh, shit, like, I, I don't really know much about that, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Or they, they, they bring up music, they listen to... Because I remember growing up, Rancheras used to be so annoying to me. Yeah. It was like, it was like what my dad would fucking play at 6 a.m. when he wanted me to help him with fucking mowing the grass yeah. and shit. Yeah. And then coming to find out, I remember when I was in college, other Latinos would just play it for their own, their own joy. Yeah, and I'm like, what the? You don't you don't hate this type of music? Yeah, they're like, no, I love this music. Bing, 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 and I'm just like, okay. And it was it was one of those things where like, damn, I don't really, I don't really feel like Latino, Latino when yeah. you're around true Latinos yeah. like that. That like grew up in in, in Latino countries and yeah. then they they moved here when they were like 20, 30, 40 years old. Yeah, that's like it. I get I get that intimidation. Yeah, probably not as much as you. Yeah, because I, I was like living in my own world that night. <laughs> <laughs> you were just, you were fucking yeah. fucked up, dude. <laughs> I was huh. faded. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. That's how I feel too, man. When people like all the Latinos are like, like listen, bringing up all these artists and names of these Mexican artists, these bandas, and I'm like, I don't like four. I know, like Charlene, Los Tigres del Norte, Los Tocanes, yeah, Tecrío, I'm Palma. always like, I like Juan Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah, 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 Vicente Hernandez or yeah, some shit. Yeah, Vicente yeah. Hernandez. Yeah. Fernandez. That's all I know. And then when some of the people bring up like this, uh, the big, uh, all this, the history of these musicians, I'm like, damn, what am I? I, I can recite the Beatles like albums back to back. Yeah, and forth, back yeah, and yeah. Forth, I can recite you know I mean? Kanye West's discography. Yeah, does that make me less Latino? Does that make you less Latino? What does yes. that make us, dude? It Are we whitewashed? Less, it makes us less Latino. No. <laughs> Are we breaking barriers here? <laughs> Should we never <laughs> talk about Latino? Talk about Latino shit? <laughs> Is this Latino podcast? Should we name this podcast Soul something brown? <laughs> something something, something Latino? Latino? Something Latino. <laughs> hey, that's a good idea. Homie. But it's true. Yeah. And that's reality. And it's the reality of the situation. And that's how we felt on Saturday. Yeah. I think I might have felt that for like literally five to ten seconds where I'm yeah. just like, oh, man, this is really Latino. Yeah. And then I looked at the menu and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have a Modelo, please. <laughs> I yeah. completely... But you were, I think you... Yeah, because I felt like... a little longer. I feel like if I talk to someone, they'll be like, hey, but how? I'll be like, uh... Uh, 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 uh Paul McCartney? <laughs> Paul McCartney? John Lennon? Ringo Starr? <laughs> Rooftop concert? You know? Yeah. I, would, I, I don't know what I would say because all those foods remind me of, like, the Theo from Rancho, the cousins yeah, from Rancho. Yeah, my Theo's older cousins. The bravado are... fucking on a horse. Cállate, cabrón, pendejo, vámonos! So you're just yeah, fucking yeah. on the horse. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I felt like the kid just like. <laughs> I remember when I, you know, when I used to work construction, I was a, I was around a lot of folks like that, and I think that's what probably helped me feel comfortable. That's why I felt kind of at home yeah. at, at that place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once I got that drink in me, and I, I felt more comfortable, I was just like, yeah, we could probably chill here all night. The thing that bothered me was the fact that I was looking around, and it's like, oh, it's all men. Yeah. And it's not that you know I, I don't get freaked out. I, I, look, I. You do get freaked out a little bit. No, 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 no. Yeah. Look, look, look. I, I, it's not, it's not, nothing about like men or anything. It's just like, it's just like the the the. I hate to say, I hate to say this, but I'm I'm being real. 
Okay, and this is what So Primo is about. It's about yeah, being so the, so the so reality so. situation. It's about the loser aspect of it. Okay. That's what fucking bothered me. Okay. Hey, it, me- it, like, I, I've been in gay bars with like, like 90% of the men there were gay. That doesn't bother me because they're not losers. They're having the time of their life. But in that bar... It was just such loser energy that it was just like, oh my God, the, these men, it's 2 a.m. It's 1.45 a.m. And these men are like 40, 50, 60 years old. They're not having fun. They're at just the table just drinking, just looking down and just like goggling at the the waiters, at the waitresses. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't understand if you're depressed, dog, and you just want to fucking drink, drink your sorrows away. Fuck yeah. I'm all about that. But if like you're just goggling at the waitresses and like, hey baby, come here, come here, like, like that's loser activities. Yeah. And um, okay, well here, let me and that's why I told you I was just like, let's get out of here, bro. It's icky in here. I don't like the this loser feeling. Let me break it down for you. What if these people listen? What if they love their wives? They love their kids. They're just you know hanging out on a Friday, Saturday night, and they don't really care about the woman not being there because they're not looking for women. They're looking for a good time with their boys. What do you say to that? Is that loser mentality? That's not mo- that's, that's not what loser. We, that's what we. Fucking that's literally do. what we were doing. But. You know, like ninety yeah, percent of the men there, those poor little waitress girls who are walking around and just being like, "I fucked by all these guys," and just you know, them having to be polite because they're just like, "Hey, come see right here," come, and they're just like, "The ch- you have to the debit or, car- or cash? What yeah, do you need? Like, yeah, what do you want? Yeah. Card or cash?" Yeah, and they're just like, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What can I? What's your number?" And it's just like. It's just like, bro, all these because I know men like that. I grew yeah. up around men like that. So like the fact that. Fucking! I saw these men, and I'm just like, I don't want to be here, dog. I don't want to be in a bar. I don't want to. I don't want to be around these fucking foos. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't really about them being Mexican. It wasn't them being them them being older. Like I have no problem with that. It was about their loser fucking actions. I, I was looking around. I was looking around. And I'm like, bro, all these people are just goggling at the waitresses. Being weirdos, yeah, and just like uh, they're they're all should be home with their fucking families. Yeah, right? you know, it, it made me realize that like you know, I'm glad I love hanging out with my girl. Oh and yeah, I, and hopefully, and like I'm pretty sure when I'm 40, I'm not gonna be like, hey, I want to ditch my girl. It's 2 a.m. She's my kid. Fuck that. I want to go out with the boys. You yeah. know what I mean? And literally, like the only reason why, not the only reason why, but like when you when you hit me up to hang out, it's because my girl had fallen asleep already. Yeah, I, I assure you, if my girl was still awake, I'd be like, oh, sorry, man, I can't make it. I can't yeah. make it out. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we're a good man. Yeah, we're good, man. And that's that's a sad lie. When you're 40 and 50, and you hate your wife, and you hate your fucking family, you hate your kids. You hate your your life. <sighs> and it's just like fucking. But then that's that's what I will say. This sometimes I don't want to say this, but I will have to say this is my theory. I I feel like that's a very common thing with people that get married when they're like 18, 19. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. When they're 18, 19, yeah. they get married, and the idea of it is so beautiful. Oh, we've been friends for a while. This is love at first sight. You're 18, whatever. And then they're and then like you're you're 30, and then it's like, oh yeah, I love this girl. And you're 35, and you're like, wait. I've only really dated this one person. That's the problem that I see with a lot of uh, 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 Latino immigrants. I don't want to say immigrants, but you know, people who have migrated to the states. Yeah, that's a lot of issues that I used to see when I work in construction. I'd be around them twenty four seven, hundreds yeah. of them on a weekly basis, um, and uh, that's what that's the issue that I would see. They would be. Even if they were young in their twenties or thirties, they would they would be here, but they'd be like, "Oh yeah, I have a wife and two kids back in Guatemala, back in El Salvador, yeah. back in Mexico, you know, and that I'm making money and I'm sending it to them, and it, and it's they're so conflicted because they had built this life already when they were 17, 18, 19 years old, and then now they're in a completely new life in a completely new country, and the problem is they can't go back, yeah, or else they're they're not gonna be able to come back in, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like in their their mentality is like I want to make enough money to bring them. Yeah. But then most times it never happens, and I've seen it time and time and time and time again where they get a new wife here in the states, yeah. and neither wife knows about the other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then sometimes if they're real pieces of shit, they'll just forget their family oh. and the, where they came from. Yeah. I've seen that. I've seen it, and it's just like. And, and, and it's so it's 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 a it's a disturbing thought because you think about it, it's just like bro, they came wanting a better life, and then they did, yeah, and they left their families behind, Ooh. and uh, and that's what I and, and 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 that's what I felt when we were at that bar. Yeah, I was like, I know for a fact, all, I'm, in my head, I was like, bro, forty percent of the gentlemen that are in here have two families, already. yeah, and they're here at one forty a.m. Yeah. on a Saturday night at this shitty bar. Yeah, dude. And like we were there at a shitty bar, but we were just like, bro, let's just go get a beer. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
it wasn't like we were running away from anything. Yeah, any... my girl was sleeping too. So yeah, yeah, like... yeah. So it was just like it was just like yeah, I want to be. I want to hang out with my soul primo. Like, oh, you were like in my neighborhood, and you're like, yeah. fuck, fuck yeah, so like, pull up, it. yeah, pull up. So it's just like, but, but, uh, but yeah, that that's what that's what I felt. Yeah, that night I'm like, I don't want to be here. This is lose. This is, and when I say loser, I know it sounds harsh. I know it does, but it's just like, listen, I can't imagine. Just, I can't imagine marrying somebody when I was like 17, 18, dude. Yeah. Or having two families, oh. two, like a, a main family and then a secret family. Or a kid, that was dude. so, dude, that was so uh, uh, regular back in the day. Yeah. And even to this day. Yeah. But like, dude. Not as much, I feel. Not as much. Uh, maybe in the maybe States. in America, like all the cold, I guess in I mean in Latino. I mean, culture. if you move to another country and your family can't come to that country, yeah. then I think it's pretty pretty easy. Yeah. But like back in the day, man, men used to have like two different families and stuff uh, like that. Yeah, Just working at Ralph's. Yeah. Dude. Working at a grocery store, they had made enough money to fucking it's different cities, homie. Dude, dude, put them oh. in different cities, all different cities. Especially back in the day, there's no cell phone, social media. You could yeah, just fucking yeah. go down the street and then fucking be with your next wife. You can't track them on your on your I iPhone. I know, dude. Being with your first wife, then go down the street for your second wife, and then you know what? In your free time, plot for a third wife, dude. Okay. You're just like, plotting for more wives, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. Capturing them like Pokemon. And shit yeah, like dude. They had a four. Like a fifth wife, all different races and colors. It's fucking beautiful, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why uh, I couldn't do that though. I'm, I'm a, oh, dude, I can't. I can't. I can really handle one. The guilt. Yeah, dude. Man, I don't even know, dog. I don't know. Like, you're, you're going to be like some type of sociopath for it. Do I don't know, you. It's like you're putting on a mask every fucking time, dude. You're like, oh, I'm in this version with this person, and then the next person, hey, what's my love you, baby? I do the love of my and life. Your kids. You're just like, dad, 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 how are dad, you? Dad. Not knowing there's another set of kids that are like, dad, dad, dad. Yeah, and then you're just kind of using the same lines. Oh, you're the love of my life. I love you so much. Oh, kid, oh, Jacob. Are you using the old toys from the first kids with oh, the new kids? Yes. Oh, yes. Once gosh. they grow out of the toys, I'm just going to give donate it. You donate to the second family. They once you grow out of it, and then you name air, all your kids the same fucking name, so you don't forget to call them. You don't forget, and you don't accidentally call them a different name. So there's four Jacobs, four Jakes, four uh, Noels, four, four Cynthia's, four, four oh. Cynthia's, four Billy's in your fucking life, dude. Hey Billy, because that's what I would do. Because I wouldn't want to. I, 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 you've thought of this. No, I wouldn't want to have different names like Jake, uh, Nathaniel, fucking <laughs> Caesar, yeah, Coba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just have like Coba for all of them, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all even of them. the girls and the kids. Yeah, the Coba, boys. Coba one, Coba two, dude. Coba, yeah. Because yeah. I, I would, I wouldn't be able to fucking do that. I know I would slip up, and I would not want to do that also because I love my girl. Yes, yeah, and but, you're a good guy too. Yes, I'm a good guy. But yes, that is what we experienced at the bar, the shinding, as you call it. The shit, yeah, the shit. And it was, it was fun to go out. You know, I hate LA. I hate, I hate going out in LA. You know, I picked them up, and I was like, "Why did I pick you up? This is nonsense." Parking in LA is so stupid. Even though we found parking pretty, <laughs> <easy>. <laughs> yeah, we. That was like the fastest I've ever parked ever going out of LA. Yes, I'm like an old lady, man. I complain about a lot of shit when you, you hang do, out with me. Yeah, I'm like, dude, this fucking parking yeah, is why I'm in LA. It's so strange to hang out with you because you, you're you the one that sets it up and plans it. And then as soon as we link up, you're like, immediately give off this energy of like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. I, why am I doing this? Well, yeah. So it makes me insecure like, oh, he doesn't want to hang out with me. Well, because that's, yeah, because I, I regretted it. Because, yeah, because <laughs> I regret yeah, it. Yeah, but then I, I, I really like, I enjoy hanging out with you. You know, it's more of like a business meeting than a fucking actual friendship. Hey, well, yeah, yeah, I keep wanting to talk about life. You're like, yeah, hold up. But what are we going to talk about today? So our numbers, week, yeah. how, how are our analytics, our failing numbers, failing subscribers, like views going down, yeah, talk about that yeah, a little yeah, bit, you know? Yeah. But I had a good ass time. It made me realize that I got to go out more. You do, and uh, you have to be more Mexican, man. <laughs> I, I gotta start wearing like that. I gotta wear like the the snake boots, the snake bell. I gotta tuck yeah. in my shirt. Buckle, you tuck in your shirt buckle, with the little yeah, bu- the huge buckle. Open up this fucking shirt, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. The Hana, and I gotta, then you, you wear a button up shirt with the with the fucking stripes and the cubes. And oh stuff, yeah, man. dude. I, I mean, that's a good look, though. The jeans. I do like the tight jeans, bro. Tight. Boot cut jeans, almost, oh, dude. I like that shit, bro. So, such a feminine outfit for the Mexicans. Hey, but they look good. It's it's they the it's good. the machismo that kind of carries it. Okay, yeah, I get that. If you go in the bar, there was so much testosterone. There's so much testosterone. <laughs> so much boner. There was so much like oh, there, was so there was so much, much masculine. And there was some gentlemen there that we know for a fact yeah. were in uh, oh. drug related activities. Yeah, like narco activities. Yes, I feel like a so, couple. Yeah. A couple of people had uh, weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, uh, attached to their waist. Yes, um, yes. So that's why we were both like, oh no, say no, say no, speaky, yeah, yeah, no speaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, huh? <laughs> That's why I took well. I took yeah, as soon as we get, came, in, we were like talking English outside. As soon as we walked in, we're like, oh, hey, tecate, por favor. Atenas, chivas, chivas. Yeah. And then like the late, I just. 
to ask for a tip. When when I'm not the best tipper, I don't really like tipping. You know what I mean? It doesn't really make sense for me. So when this lady was like, "How much are you tipping me?" I'm like, "I I want to say nothing." <laughs> There's a lot of cartel members here, and you never know. Like if the girl were to tell the homie, like, "Hey, this guy didn't want to tip me." Shoot him, shoot him down, and then you would have to protect me, and then you would get shot, and I would just go home and live a happy life. And we wouldn't want that. We wouldn't want that. How would we? No. Okay, that's what I'm saying. There's no, re- there's no need to fucking like be mad about that shit. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> you just hate tipping people, even though, <laughs> even if they give us extraordinary service. She didn't give me service. She just said, "Hey, you want a drink or no?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And she said it all in Spanish. Like, at least speak to me. I don't know. I'm scared right now. You were like, "This is America." <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, no, no. no, she was speaking so fast. I was like, "Slow it down." Like, slow it down. I can't it was really loud with like, like Mex, like uh, uh, like channel. I know each table like had its own speaker, so you couldn't fucking hear shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, You're like, yeah, "Qué yeah. pasó?" Huh? And, and she's like, "Tip, tip." I couldn't understand it, but you know, everybody was a hard work person and you know let's move on from this fucking bar i'm tired of talking about from this bar okay. you know? there's a lot of interesting things that happened over the weekend i don't know what you want to talk about dive into or let's get into first go ahead. listen jersey shore came back into my life how uh because i watched it and jersey shore is one of the greatest shows of all time dude i think that that show has aged very well and I've a- also aged, so I see a lot of things that when I was younger, I didn't realize how stupid it was. You and see that, a lot of similarities between you to, and the main characters? To me and Ronnie, uh, me, uh, me and Ronnie or the situation. Uh, you and Snooki? Oh, me and Snooki. Same height? But, same skin color? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the, you, who do you look like? You're, you're, uh, you're J-Wow. Which was that one? Uh, oh, the, the one with the big ass, uh, the, the, the breasts. Sue me. You, you used to be a Snooky stan when you were a kid. I, dude, because she was fun. She was like, she was always herself. She was never afraid to be herself. And when people, like, when that, when that guy punched her in the fucking face. What? I, you, mean, you don't remember? No, I don't in remember. Season one, uh, 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 the guy punched her in the face when she was in the bar. And then he was trying to, and like, uh, he was next to the guy and she was ordering shots. And I guess the guy thought they were for him. So he was taking the shots and she was like, those are my fucking shots, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. And he was just fucking like, Boom! He, he fucking punched a Dector in the face, dude. Did you get fucked up after that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, kind of. And the cops came and everything. But, dude, Jersey Shore, I feel like it spoke to a generation, bro. To my generation. When I was younger watching that show, that was like the greatest source of entertainment you could possibly have, dude. And there's a little bit of each character that you can kind of relate to. Sammy is a person that just wants to be loved. She just wants to love. You know, even though she was like, never find in love with a Jersey Shore, kind of like Ronnie. Uh, but she just wanted love. Snooky. Snooky's a wild card. You know me, baby. What's your name? Snooky. Snooky. <laughs> Snooky. <laughs> what you said. Snooky. <laughs> Snooky. 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 She's like a wild card, right? Kind of like me. Get enough drinks in me. I'm wild, baby. The situation, I like to get myself in situations. Boom. Polly D. I'm like the life of the party. I'm like handsome. I'm sweet and shit. Fucking Vinny. I don't really like Vinny that much. Uh, Vinny is like a hater. You ever seen this? I feel like you haven't seen the show. I've seen a few episodes. <laughs> oh my God. I thought, I I've seen like season one. That's yeah. pretty much it. Also, I was like 11 when it came out. You never felt compelled. You were more, you were older than 11. You never felt compelled to watch the rest of the show? I remember like uh, the famous note. This is like so and so kissed so and so. Oh, the like, no, yeah. but what's Nuki and Jaywell? Yeah. That's just an iconic scene, man. And then when Ronnie in situation fought in Italy. He slammed his head on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. just concrete. He's yeah. like, he said he did that at a bar, and then uh, it, it worked. It's drywall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Here in America, it's drywall. And the guy was like, oh, oh shit, my bad, bro, my bad. And he just ran away. But then he got knocked the fuck out. And he still got down with Ronnie, man. And Ronnie, there's like a new uh, season right now called Family Vacation. And Ronnie is like still the exact same way, just screaming, yelling, fucking angry. And when Jersey Shore first came out, I thought it was 28. He's our age. Whoa. And and like I would never. I feel like all these people are seriously flawed. Like I don't want to be. With, I don't want to be like any of these people. Like I'm 28, you're 28. Those people were 28, and the way they were acting is so like. Like imagine like if we would go out and I would fucking pick a fight with random strangers. Yeah. It would be so draining. Yeah. I used to have friends like that, and I, I, they're not my friends anymore because it's just like, dude, what, go to therapy, dog. Go to therapy. Go yeah. fucking talk to your parents every night. They would go out and some shit would happen. And I'm pretty sure the, the producers or people running the show were like, hey, they're going to talk shit about you. All right? But these fools every night would wild out, go crazy. And uh, that lifestyle is kind of weird to have when you're like 35 now. Like they're like 35 or almost 40. No, they got to be 40. They're 40. They be 40. And they're still kind of living that lifestyle. 
at least some of them. Some of them are like married. Some of them are fucking have kids and shit. I remember when the situation bombed at one of the Comedy Central roasts. Oh, yeah, that was rough. That was rough to watch. I think someone, someone, guy, though. someone stopped the midway. They were like, "Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying?" I think it was the Donald Trump one. Yeah, the Donald Trump roast. I forget, but yeah, he bombed really bad. Yeah, it was really bad. But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's not, your that's your guy. Not everything's gonna be a banger. No, that's Jersey Shore. Not like like. Is this episode a banger? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? Is it a banger? We'll find out. Is it a good one? Is it a banger? I don't know. I don't know either. You know what I mean? Yeah. What happened with you this weekend also? Um, this oh. weekend? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were drunk for most of it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, yeah. It was, uh, you know, I had, I had something very stressful happen to me or that I was having to deal with. And uh, so this weekend, it finally was over. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to have a good time. I'm just going to have a good time with my, with my friends. You know what I mean? And that's why I accepted your invitation to hang out on Saturday. But I, I can see that you regretted it that. <laughs> that's very beautiful. Okay. We're, 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 on the way here, we were talking about something we're going to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So on the way over here, um, <laughs> so Joel, <laughs> the way he texts, he, he texts like a... Like if you taught a monkey how to text. <laughs> what does that mean, man? So instead of saying like, hey, be ready in 12 minutes, you go, be ready 12. Yes. <laughs> like I like to say more with less, And bro. I know, I know that he uses the voice to speech <laughs> thing. So I know that it, it, if he said be ready in 12 minutes, it would, it would write that out. But the fact that it says be ready 12... That means he was like, be ready, 12. And what did you say? You say your stupid little phrase because you think you're young and shit. No, no, because I'm just like, like, bet. You're like, bet. I always say shit like, oh, bet, bet. Bet. I hate, I don't know where that fucking came out of him, dude. You're always like, hey, cap on my rap or some shit, dude. (laughs) No cap on my rap. Shut the fuck (laughs) up. You fucking say you're a fucking idiot. You're you're not 21, man. I don't. You're in your late 30s, bro. Shut the fuck up. No cap on my rap. Dude, I don't say (laughs) that (laughs) shit. Bet. Bet. I bet on that. So what the fuck are you talking about? You're you're like, hey, hey, uh, dude, we're going to, let's do this at, at 12 bet it's like that means so i know you you consider yourself oh i'm an old soul i was born in the wrong generation i should have born, been born in the 1830s <laughs> it's like Twin taylor swift uh, no she released a song she was like oh i wish we were born in the 1830s without the racist no that's a lyric that's a lyric in one of her songs that's a lyric in one of her songs if i got, was born in i think i would have been hung right away dude <laughs> Oh, you would have had polio. <laughs> or about rabies or something. I you would have had smallpox. Hey, don't say that shit, dog. You know how I feel about that shit, bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not a fucking joke, dude. No, no, you would have had leprosy. <laughs> I would have found a leprosy, dude. I would have made leprosy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leprosy when you got all these fucking, uh, these warts on your fucking hand. And no, 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 it's when your body starts falling off. Oh, really? Yeah. What would fall off first? Uh... Yeah. Oh. Nipples. <laughs> nipples fall you off. No. Oh. My nipples fall off and I'm like this. Oh. 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 They're oh. chewy. Oh. Oh. I would cook them first. Ew. Okay. And then my dick will fall <laughs> out. And then we would look at each other and like. You cook it. <laughs> you cook it. <laughs> What's up? A hot dog. All right. Continue on with your fucking shit before we no, go. No, it wouldn't be a hot dog. It would be like a pig in a blanket. <laughs> you know, remember that? What the fuck is that? It's a little sausage wrapped around with bread. You get so creative when it comes to like wieners and hot dogs. No. Like, like you love like your fucking like didn't you sent me a video and I'll post it right now, hopefully if I remember. You sent me a video the other day of you going to seven eleven to buy a hot dog and then it was like the most beautiful experience ever. Cause you rode a scooter and then like the video you sent me, you were like, Wee yeah, yeah. Remember? yeah, cause you know my car's still in the shop, so I was just like, I sent you a video of me on the scooter. I was like, who, who, who needs a car? And what did you say? You're like, go home, bro. Yeah, go home, <laughs> dude. What the fuck are you doing at seven eleven, dude? I was getting a little hot dog. I got a little snacks, a little drinky. Yeah, but dude, you gotta get something. Why are you getting hot dogs like a nine p.m., ten p.m., bro? It's two dollars. Yeah, but at least get something healthier for you, baby. Yeah, yeah but man, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. okay. I don't have. Okay, continue. But my point, my point being, oh look how big my hand looks over here. It's like a Mr. Elastic. My point being, my point being, is that uh, uh, look. What's your point, man? Look, I, I accept you with all your flaws. You know that. You know that. You know that I'm one of the most understanding human beings you could ever meet. I don't um, have flaws. And you know what flaws means? Yeah. Good things. No, 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 no. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm, I'll accept you how you come. All right. Wait, and uh, today I got a little clue. So I'd be piecing, because you're mysterious. You think I'm a mysterious guy? Yeah. You're a mysterious guy too. I'm not. And I, 
<laughs> yeah, you are. And I'm, I, I'm I be not. piecing clues together, like, you know, like kind of like a web of lies, you know what I'm saying? Like a detective. Yeah. And, uh, and what I realized, I was just like, you, do, I was like, I, I said something to you. I was like, do you know what I'm, it's like, you probably don't know how to write, huh? Jokingly. And you, you laughed and you went, dude, have you ever been to the doctor and you have to like fill out forms and then you grab the pencil and you're like, oh, I can't, I can't fill this out. So you ask someone to fill it out for you. And I'm just like, final clue of the fucking puzzle. No, 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 is illiterate. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. I've no. never seen you write anything. Bro, I've never seen you write, I'll write anything. Right fucking now, dog. I've never seen you write anything. Yeah. Every time I ask you to read something, you're always like, "Yeah, man, it's stupid shit." I'm like, <laughs> oh, just, I'm like, just read it. It's like, got the you, And you're like, "No, you read it. You say it out loud." No, like, no, no, and then no. no. I, I, my dumbass is like, no, "Okay, I read." What I, I was trying to say, it's fucking hard to write after not using your hand for so long because you're used. <laughs> You're used to just typing and fucking typing and texting and shit. But when someone tells you, hey, write, fill out this form, here's a pencil, you're just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? How do you make J? How do you make O? Do I dot the T's and cross the I's? <laughs> What's the exclamation mark? It's hard, man. It's fucking hard. And my, what I meant to say is my, my hand feels like... Like, I got to break it in almost, dude. I got to break it in because it's hard to do those motions after you're not doing it for a while. It, it just, everything, the seal was lifted from my eyes. And you I, started bringing I, up old shit. I started, yeah, I started thinking of like, oh my God, all the texts that Joel's ever sent me, it, it, it looks like a chimp wrote them. No, and then you're like, <laughs> you didn't graduate high school. You got kicked out of high school. Yeah, and I was like, you, 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 you always said that you hated, you hated school. <laughs> hated school. You never got along in school because you, you know, you didn't like, you didn't like doing like classwork and stuff like that. You, you, you couldn't do the homework. You got kicked out of high school because of your grades. It's all coming together. I was in your back seat. I'm like, dude, Joel's illiterate. Joel's fucking illiterate. You're having a panic attack in the fucking car, Do you know what illiterate means? Yes, I can read or write. You can't read or write. I can't read or write. And listen, I'm literate. Literally literate. (laughs) I'm literally literate, man. Dude, I used to write. People used to, hey, people, I used to write people. I used to write down shit. (laughs) <laughs> People were like, you write like a girl. I used to have beautiful fucking writing, dog. You were the type of guy that used to write uh, uh, love notes to girls, huh? Yeah. I know you. Oh, Dude, you Dude, one would. time, one time, oh, one time I got caught bad, bro. I got caught wow, bad. Wow, wow. <laughs> I got caught bad, dude. Okay, uh, I was in fucking my my uh, my health class, right? Or the sex ed class. And then uh, I was talking to, actually this girl next to me, we were just sending notes. But she was like a she was like a homie, right? And she was like, "Hey, would you bang Stacy?" Right? And then I wrote down, "Yeah, fuck yeah, I'll bang Stacy." Right? And I passed it down. I passed it back to the girl. And the professor, the teacher was like, "Hey, what are you guys doing? Give me that." And then and then he got it. And then he was like, "You would bang Stacy, Joel?" And then everyone what? was like, "What the fuck?" And then everybody started the like, "Yes, yes." yes. Like, what? I just, what? 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 what school was this? <laughs> Dude, when you were you high school. <laughs> My mom, my mom, you bang Stacy Joe. Dude, the teacher was like, You bang Stacy Joe. And I was like, No. <laughs> I just put my head on the fucking table. I was so embarrassed because people were laughing. What did Stacy say? He was just, she was just like awkward. Dude, she was awkward. She was nice. I talked to her before. I can't believe the teacher dude, said that. Disrespectful. I look up and he was like, <laughs> he was like laughing. And I was like, dude, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> dude, he should have been fired, bro. <laughs> no, bro. I, dude, I, I was suicidal after that shit, oh dude. Oh, my God. You can't imagine. Every fucking day I had to go into that class. Everybody knew I wanted to fuck Stacy, man. This, is, what was, this was like fourth grade, fifth grade? No, dude, this is 11th grade. Oh, 11th grade. This is right grade. Right before they kicked you out. Yes, dude. This is 11th fucking grade, oh bro. My God. Everybody, everybody understood lingo, what it means to bang. Everybody knew everything, bro. <laughs> we were in sex ed. Like, everybody knew all the fucking lingo, dude. And he just read it. And then oh, I remember, like, uh, my heart dropped, bro. Oh, yeah, Cause your, I, your cause stomach. Because he, like, he read it. He, was, he opened it up. And I was like, okay, it's fine. You're reading it. Embarrassing. I thought he was going to be like this. Yeah, like, yeah that's yeah. what a normal teacher was like, Joe, you want to fuck Stacy? What the, the fuck? fuck? Oh, you're she weird. never let you hit. You're weird, Joel. <laughs> and I remember everybody just started laughing, bro. Everybody just started laughing, oh, That must man. have been the greatest day at, at class for them, your oh, classmates. Oh. Everybody was like, I was just in a corner. Every, <laughs> that's the guy who wants to fuck Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> Joel? <laughs> Stacy's like, Joel. Joel, that's it. Yes. <laughs> I'm like uh, the Hulk, you know, when he sees uh, yeah, his yeah, yeah. love. Oh, no, fucking uh, <laughs> from the Eric Bano ones. He destroys the whole city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the girl's like, 
Bruce. And he's like, ah, 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 you get smaller. Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> you, would, you would just get smaller down there. <laughs> My dick. Ah, 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 ah. Joel. Ah. <laughs> you would get smaller, but you never got bigger. So you just became like a two foot Joel. Like, oh. <laughs> no, my dick was in the same. My bottle would just get smaller. Ah! My dick would just be like, you so tiny. <laughs> oh my god. Holy Dude, shit. I can't believe you just did that. I know. Fucking. Oh, I don't want to even. I don't, no, no, say no, it. Because no. he, hey, he put your business out there. You put his business out there. <laughs> Mr. Starling, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Starling, BP, bro. Oh my god. Oh. He should have been fired a long time ago. No, but he's a funny. He was a cool guy. He was a cool guy. I, I didn't like that, but he was a cool guy. He was a cool guy. <laughs> How did you cope with that after? Uh, I did you ever my, talk to Stacy again? Uh, no. No. No, we said hi afterwards. You know, to be honest, she was actually very, very nice about it. You know, she was like, I remember like a couple weeks afterwards, she's like, it's okay, Joel. And I was like, I was like, oh. You know, <laughs> you start drinking again. <laughs> and then it was, uh, she was actually very nice about it, but I just felt like terrible. I just felt like embarrassed. I felt like, I just felt, that's, that's something you keep between us, my friend. You what did the girl, the girl that wrote the note to you, what did she say? She was just like, I'm so sorry. She was like, I didn't know who was going to get it. Oh, my God. You know God. what I mean? Dude, I remember girls, I remember this girl in particular. Bro, this girl in particular, uh, we were in AP US history, right? Yeah. And uh, she was writing notes to me. And she was just like, hey, like, uh, when's your basketball game tonight? And I remember the teacher was this strict Asian lady, bro. Uh -huh. I'm not going to say her name because she probably still works there. But uh, <clears throat> strict Asian lady. And I would just be like, I remember being like, I don't want to pass notes with you. What the fuck? Like, this this lady will fucking drop my grade. Like, that's how mean she was, right? And I was just like, oh, today at 7. And then she's like, oh, well, can I come? Can I wear your jersey? And yeah. I'm just like, and I, I wrote in the note, like, we can talk after class. Yeah. Like, I literally, Damn. yeah, I was like, we can talk after class. And then she, she you know, and then uh, she, uh, I handed it to her. And the fucking teacher was like, Melvin and so-and-so, get out now. Wow. And I was just like. I remember being so pissed off, right? Yeah. And we go outside, and she's like, "Wait outside for me. I'll be right out there." And she, and then as we're closing the door, I could hear her go, "You see, they don't care about their grades. Okay, they don't want to succeed. All right, I want my students to succeed." As the door was closing, and I'm like, "Jesus, what a fucking bitch!" Right? Yeah. And I'm I'm outside, and this girl is just like she's like she has she's like she she has her head down. She's like her hands claps. And I'm just like, I look at her and I'm just like, oh, dude, like, what the fuck? And she's just like, so can I wear your jersey? And I'm just like, I've never been so disgusted. Yeah. I was like, no. No, I only have one jersey. Wow, dude. <laughs> and, and she was like, oh, was she, I'm glad she caught on because yeah. another girl would be like, wait, <laughs> you have a home and away one. So, but she was like, Oh, okay. I swear and I'm just like, man. bro, what the fuck is you? I told you, just fucking talk to me in person. What the fuck? Talk to me after class. She wanted but you to say, but I was, I was really intimidated because I'm wearing a fucking jersey and shit. Like it's that. true. Bro. I didn't say that shit. That's <laughs> like, I, didn't, I didn't fucking say that shit. Not your, your fucking jersey. Nah, it ain't shit, it's homie. Not, it ain't fucking shit, man. High school's terrible, bro. Dude, high school's tough, man. High school's tough. Like, I remember the first time I got touched was uh, in, like, I remember it was in ninth grade, right? Ooh. No, there was this girl in front of me oh. that she was in 11th grade. I was in 9th grade. <laughs> Don't say that shit, dude. Go ahead, sir. I was in 9th grade, and then uh, I had an algebra. No, what, I forgot, like a calculus or whatever. Uh, with this one girl, she was in front of me, and she was in 11th grade, right? And then uh, she thought it was cute. I was like, stop, slow down. You know what I mean? And I remember she she was like behind. Uh, she was in front of me, so she would always talk to me. Uh, like that, and I was always be like, "Oh, this girl's fucking hot," and she's older than me. I was like, "That's pretty hot too." And then one day, like, she just started like reaching over and just like grabbing my crotch and shit in class, dude. And then I remember one time she did it, and she went underneath the pants, and I was just like frozen. I was like, "Oh my god!" There's like we're in the middle of a class of a lecture, and the teacher's like, "You know, uh, the, the the Pythagorean theorem. We got to put it there in the triangle. Boom, boom, boom." Mister, my teacher's up there, and then the people around us, like right next to us, we're in a full class, and she's like doing that. And then she was like, do you like that? And I was just like, yeah. But like, I had long hairs back then. Like the, she was like kind of pulling my pubes, and it was kind of painful. But the balls on this girl, just to reach around and seduce me like that, dude, it was fucking amazing, incredible. And then, like, 
after class, you'd always grind on me. And then it was like the first time, like, someone older was, like, into me, right? It usually was people around my age. But this girl was, yeah. like, was like I, I found out later that she was kind of, like, not the school of thought. Not the school, like, slut. But she got around. But she got around. Like, she was fucking around with the homie and the homie's homie and the homie's brother. But, and that's, and the BP, there was a lot of, like, weird shit. I feel like this happens at any, any of the school. But, yeah. But that class, dude, she was, like, she would do that multiple times. And then after that, like, I guess, I guess she just got over it. So she started hitting on the other guy next to me. And then she started giving notes to me to send to another guy she was trying to fuck. God, I was like, and she was like, can you send this to him? Yeah. I'm like. You didn't even get friend zone. You got, uh, you got mailman zone. Yeah, dude. <laughs> can, can you pass yeah. it to him? I'm just like, yeah. You read it. It's like, do you want to fuck Stacey? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Mr. Sterling. Mr. Sterling, that's bad to know. That's bad fucking notes. What about them, huh? You want to read that though? Do you want to read that though? God, I was traumatized. Dude, bro. at my school, there was like a lot of like, uh, there there were some known Known girls that got a promiscuous girls, let's call them that promiscuous girls, right? Yes, but at my school, there was a lot of uh, not only promiscuous girls, but low key promiscuous girls mm. that really did get around, but they kept, they kept it super low key. Yeah. And it wasn't until people would start talking, yeah, and be like, Wait, she did that with me oh, at the party, uh, breaking hearts, bro. yeah. And then the other guy would be like, No, we. She did that with me last weekend too. Yeah. And they'd be like, what? And it happened to me a couple of times where like, <clears throat> I thought, you know, I thought it was just me. And then uh, two of my teammates told me about it. And I was like, uh, me too. Yeah. And that's, and you know, Eskimo brothers. Like, yeah. You know, things like that. It's just like, it's like, wow, dude, they really keep it low key. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. And it was just like, it's the guys that were for like fucking talking in my, at my high school. You were one of the guys though. Oh. You're one of the guys. I, I was one of the guys that they would come out to me and they ask. And like, there's, dude, there's several times it was like the people would ask me like, "Hey, did you do this this with so and so?" And I'd be like, "No, I've I hardly ever talked to her." Yeah. And they're like, "Okay, just checking." And then they would just keep going and investigate. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's it, it it was very low key at my school. That's that's the way it's got to be though. I think that's because that's the way it's got to be in the world. In the world, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even outside of school, like yeah, don't be you know, don't go out in the world and be like, I fuck this guy, then this guy, and this guy, and then uh, that looks terrible. I know. Look, I've had some homies along the way in my life that they're just like, oh, I, I this is my ex boyfriend, but then like we broke up, but I started fucking his friends, and you're just like, okay, okay, or yeah. like. Uh, you, I know, I know what happens in the real world, but you, we we mostly see it in like celebrities, like uh, situations when uh, two big celebrities start dating, yeah, and then this one celebrity was just like, oh yeah, I smashed ten years ago, oh yeah, and everyone was just like, okay, yeah, it's like so fucking loser, like I know, what, like, yeah, who gives a fuck, yeah, no one gives a shit, yeah, dog. Yeah, no yeah. one gives a fucking yeah, shit, yeah. bro. But it's, I think everybody, it's and then they'll say, oh, uh, enjoy my sloppy seconds. It's like, bro, oh yeah, it's like ten years ago, dog. yeah, yeah, exactly, and like. I don't know if, like, they expect, like, because I, I think most guys, I don't know, it depends who you ask. I think a lot of guys care about, like, uh, that kind of shit. Like, if you dated some person, like, 10 years ago, they're like, oh, we can't be together. You fuck with that guy. Or maybe some guy, some guys care about body count or something. Um, Do you care about body count? I, <laughs> it's everything. No, I'm, just uh-huh. <laughs> okay. no, I, no, I, uh, I'm not going to say I don't fully care, but it's also, like, I'm not going to expect someone to be, like, like in the, in the virgin, yeah, which is like me, yeah. <laughs> like like in the Andrew Tate world, everybody's like, you want to find the purest girl, one body count or less. It's like okay, it's like who's gonna be that when you're fucking twenty nine or thirty? I remember this one. Uh, uh, there's a comedian named Bobby Oliver. She had a, she's like a headliner, and she had this one joke. I'm like butchering it, but she's just like, men are stupid. Like uh, they hate, they don't want to fucking marry. Uh, a promiscuous slutty girl, but then when they marry the fucking virgin prude, they get mad that his her, their wife doesn't fucking give it out yeah. wh- whenever they want. Yeah. Uh, dumbass, you should marry the fucking slut if you want fucking sex all the time. Yeah, dude. And I was just like, obviously she made it funny, and yeah. I'm like, I'm like, dude, that wow, that makes a lot of sense. Makes sense, bro. I don't give a fuck if your body counts like 300, 400, 500. Show me what you learned. Show me what you learned. <laughs> show, show me what, be, what you've been taught. <laughs> Take me to school. Yeezy taught me. It was Joel taught me. <laughs> bro, you know, you're, you're so funny on the podcast, bro. What the fuck? I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to fight with you, bro. I don't want to fight with you, man. You're illiterate. 
I'm literally not. <laughs> literally? You literally <laughs> oh, illiterate. Imagine we were British, how fucking better this podcast would be. I know, dude. We'd be to the moon. Yeah, I'm mental. I'm literally a- mental. I'm literally home. Lit- I don't care about a body count. A fancy cup of tea. Uh, if you count bodies, I don't care. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. I don't give a damn. I'll be fucking and I'll be nothing. Teach me. <laughs> Teach me. <laughs> Teach me how you fucked 400 guys. Teach me what you've learned. I want to give a shit, dog. But that's just me. Like, I'm not like most guys, though. Dude, you know what's so crazy? No. There was, uh, when I was in high school, that girl that fucking got me in trouble with passing notes. Uh, her name started with K, so let's just call her K, right? Yeah. And uh, after that, she never talked to me. She didn't ever want to talk to me, right? Yeah. Because I think, you know, I guess it, she, she told her friend that I was really mean to her. But in reality, she got me in trouble. What do you mean to her? I All I said was like, no, I, I don't have an extra jersey. Melvin. <laughs> What? What are you mean to her? No, all, that's all I said to her. I was just like, I don't know. Sorry, I don't have an extra jersey. My delivery might have been a little. How did you? How did you deliver? Okay, I'm the girl. Oh, but it's cold. We're right outside. I'm just like, we're, I'm like this. I'm like, can, can I please? Can I please borrow your jersey? I'm cold. It's freezing. It's snowing. I need a bucket. I'm naked. <laughs> It, it's snowing in Los Angeles. Oh, my, so my tits are out. Like, I, I'm cold. I need, I need, I need, I need a jersey. It covers me up so good. I'm sorry. I only have one jersey. No, Alvin, please. I think I'm gonna die of hypothermia if you don't give me the fucking jersey. I only have one jersey. Can you have it, please? Have you ever played a sport? Yeah. No. No. no? Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me like that. I'm not, I'm not a piece of meat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a piece of me, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give me your fucking jersey. No, uh, I, I'm more I, than just an it's, ass. It's in my locker. You have it on right now. Where? On you on your fucking body, man. You make me strip. <laughs> <laughs> take that shit off and take those fucking pants off too, bitch. <laughs> give me that shit, cuz. Yeah, take that. Give me that fucking dick right here, man. Oh, oh, so, <laughs> sorry, oh it really is cold. It's so small. <laughs> it really is snowing in Los Angeles. It's a motherfucker. <laughs> hey, you little dick, bitch. All right, calm down. Anyways, she th- she told her friend that uh, I was really mean, and her friend was like, "What?" The c- what? Her friend was cool with me. She was like, "What the fuck, Melvin? Why were you so fucking mean?" And yeah. I was like, "I, I wasn't mean." <laughs> Shut up! I hate when you fucking do that. <laughs> I've been doing it all my life because I get blamed for shit that I fucking didn't. Bro, did. you just show me how you would fucking mistreat a woman right now because you didn't want to give her your jersey oh, when she was freezing dude, in the middle of winter. Do you not remember the ending of that story? <laughs> she had made me strip and she fucking assaulted me. <laughs> so what do you want? I don't give a fuck about that. And uh, and she was like, "What the fuck, Melvin? Why are you so fucking mean to Kay?" And I'm just yeah. like. I wasn't. I just she got me in trouble, and and, and I wasn't really feeling feeling her to begin with. Yeah. And, and I don't want to give her my jersey. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that's true, man. Because like you know when you played sports and you give a girl your jersey, that means like it's like you know you're just, okay. Wrap you know it what I'm up. Saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a girl's in the stands. You look you look out and you see your jersey and she's like cheering for you and stuff like that. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I've never felt that because I've never played a sport. Oh. But I feel like if I would It's like the coolest fucking feeling. Dude, I feel like I could have been like a badass tetherball player. Teddy ball? Tetherball. Oh, tetherball. You know what that is? You know what that is? Yeah. I was fucking good at that shit, dude. Well, you were good up until it started getting really high. Then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. I used to be the master at tetherball. No, no, I used to be fucking good. I used to be, I used to, dude, uh, I used to, I used to play fair and square. Other people would do poison. They would step on the wrong place. This is how you know. All I needed was just one hit. Poof. <laughs> Boom, one. And everyone would be like, ah, ah. And you know that I'm telling the truth. You know that I'm, that's the problem. Well, yeah, because you're, you know. you're, you're playing with fucking kids, bro. You're 30 years old. The little kids can't fucking reach out that high, bro. No, man. <laughs> I used to have to play against kids four times Okay, well, fuck is fuck to the ball. You're good at volleyball, homie. You have a good ass serve, dog. I have a I, good ass serve. I, I'm good at volleyball as well. How do you serve? Miss. This is how I would do it. You got to get the ball and like this. Douche. And then fucking, it goes all the way up there, dude. And then whenever people would go against the the little the little uh, a little fucking whatever nets. the little nets, uh, they would jump up and I'd be like, I say it, I say it, <laughs> Yahoo! I fucking smack well, this strike is not, that this shit. Is I know that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about because a serve you have to hit it like that. No, I'm not saying, like this. I'm saying no, you don't. You can go like this if you have a good ass uh, fucking wrist strength. Oh, I guess you can. That's what I'm. Did I, just what, caught, no, did I catch you in real time? 
Yeah. Are we, am I clipping this? This is the first time this ever happened. You just got fucking molded, dog. You got fucking burned. I got dude. demoted. No, molded. <laughs> Imagine you demote me so primos, and it's just you and I'm on. I'm behind the, the switcher. <laughs> You make yourself laugh more than anybody. That would that I be know. fucking hilarious. It wouldn't be funny, dude. Oh my god, let me go back to my story, right? Yes. So her her best friend is like, "What the fuck, Melvin? You she she really put herself out there for you." And I was like, her her name was start with an M, so I'm like, hey, I did it. I fucking did. It. What the fuck are you talking about? And then come and find out this guy on football that was like a, a grade above me, and he was a tough motherfucker. And uh, I got into um I got into a little physical altercation with him in the yeah. locker room, right? And uh, he would he would sell a, 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 a Mexican pastry with his mom on this corner yeah. in my neighborhood, right? And uh, kind of like a street vendor. Yeah. And, uh, and he got in my fucking face, right? And uh, I was just like, man, fucking what, what you gonna do? He's like, watch, watch, bet, bet, watch, watch. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, they are, right? Yeah. And he was walking away and I was just, I remember I said, I was just like, why don't you focus on making your delicious pastries with your mom, right? Oh, stop. I gave him a compliment. They're delicious. I've had them before. Yeah. And I, as I was turning around, he fucking shoves me from the back, and I fucking hit my face on the lockers. Oh, no. And he's like, what, bitch? And I fucking got up, and then, like, that's when my friends were like, oh, okay, all right, all right. That's yeah. too far. That's too far. And he's like, watch yourself, motherfucker. Watch yourself. And I'm like, I'm right here, bitch. Come on. You just you waited for me to turn my back, huh, bitch? And he's like, "Watch yourself, motherfucker." And I'll be uh, to be honest, he was very strong. He was yeah. a very, very strong, probably one of the strongest ones on the football team. So I was a little, I was a little worried, but I wasn't backing down. But I was a little worried, bro. A couple months later, they start dating. Oh, really? Yeah, the, him and, and Kay. Wow. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, what you called? Uh, I just remember leaving basketball practice one day, and I see him from afar, and I'm just like, "Oh, it's this motherfucker." And he's like, "Yo, Melvin, yo." Yo, Mel. And I was just like, oh, fuck. And I'm looking at my basketball teammates, and they're just like, because they were smaller than yeah. the football ones, right? And they were just literally looking at me like, dude, dude, is he mad at you? And I was like, man, shut up, man. <laughs> yeah. Like Asian kids, like, shut the fuck up, dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what's up? And he's just like, I want to talk to you, dog. And I was like, what, 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 what about? And he's like, let's go talk over here. And I was like, no, wait. I'm not going into no alleyway with you, dog. Yeah. Like, like I'm, we can talk right here. What's up? And he's just like, you know, okay? And I'm like, uh, she, yeah, she's been in like my history class. Like, what's up? And she's like, have you talked to her? And I'm like, oh, he's pissed off that like he, she, maybe she had mentioned that she had liked me yeah. or something like that. And I was like, no, nah. she, he was just like, cause she's not talking to me right now. Oh, it's like really no. fucking me up. And, and, and I, I thought maybe you knew her or something like that. And he starts tearing up. Oh yeah. He starts tearing up and I'm just like, it's, it's all right, bro. Like, oh. you know. She's she's cool. She's a cool girl. I'm sure she. It's like no. I think she's. I think she's fucking talking to someone else, man. I think yeah. she's talking to so and so. And I was like, she's talking to so and so, like who's another big guy. Yeah, yeah, team. yeah. And I was like, dude, are you gonna have to fight, man? You're fucking such a shit, prick, dog. I'm like, dude, you're, you're gonna have to fucking get down with that food. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna kill you. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, you're gonna have to get down with that food. He's like, yeah, but I just, I just, she, she's fucking with my head, man. And like, he starts like. Getting so angry, and yeah. I'm like, dude, I was like, I had to tell him, I was like, man, sometimes these girls are not worth it, man. And he's like, no, she's the love of my life. I'm going to oh. kill myself if I don't be with uh. her. And then when he said that, I was like, okay, all right, relax, man. Like, uh, you know, I, I'm i cool with M, and I could ask M. Like, He's like, you'll do that? I was like, yeah, I'll do that. He's like, don't worry about it. He's like, yeah. for sure, man, let me know tomorrow at lunch, man. Hey, give me your number. And he got my number, and he's like, he's like, okay, I'll text you tomorrow at lunch, okay? And I was like, for sure, for sure. And I, I the next day... I fucking go up to M and I'm like, hey, is this fool still talking to Kay? And she's just like, uh-uh. He's fucking this and this and that and that and that. And I was just like, okay, well, you have to tell him because he's going to fucking kill himself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, stop fucking around. Like, he will, like, he's so, and uh, that's the last time I heard. And, and to this day, he still sells pastries on that street corner. Wow. I, I drove past it, I want to say maybe a couple months ago and yeah. I saw him and I was, he gained so much weight, but I'm like, I was like, I want to stop by, but I'm like, oh, no, man, pastries no. aren't worth fucking seeing him again. No, so that's go. sad, man. See what, see what girls will do to you, man. The pain that we go through, bro. The pain that we go through. I thought, you know, I thought you handled that good. I thought that you would have told him like, oh, yeah, I, I was talking to her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, thought, I, 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 thought, I thought I would, too, until like I saw that just like these raw emotions. And I'm just like, man, I, I've been there, dog. I, I mean, I don't want to kill myself over a girl, but. 
Like I, I've, I, I know how that feels. You know, you know, it's crazy how guys. Uh, that's like a common thing with guys. Like I'll kill myself if you leave and shit. Yeah. It's like I don't think I've ever done that. Right. You, you don't think you ever killed yourself? <laughs> I don't think I've killed myself yet. I don't think I've, done I don't think I've ever gone to a point. Uh, maybe with one in high school where I'm like, I'm gonna die, and she was like, Do it then, and then it broke me. That's raw. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> bitch. Go ahead, bitch. <laughs> but I never felt like. I remember I said that once or twice, a couple of times. And after that, I felt like, dude, I'm really, I'm an idiot. Yeah, what the, fuck, what the fuck will I say that shit, dude? I'm not, I'm, I fucking felt good after I'm, I'm going to kill it. You don't get it. And then after I hung up, I was like, I don't like in the moment, because in the moment you probably thought like, "Oh, this is this is gonna get her back. Yeah, this is gonna show her how much I love her." Yeah, and then you do it. And she's like, "Dude, relax. You're not gonna do shit. You just hang up, and you're like, I mean, she's right. Why do I say that? You feel stupid. Like, Why the fuck would I say that? That's, that's so dramatic. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, obviously, as you get older and older, you realize that. And then you know, anybody that's doing that's doing that now, listen. Don't do it, man. Just no, man. come on. Don't come even on. say it, man. It's not it's, worth it. Yeah. Also, you know, love is beautiful. Love is blind. Whatever, but you know, yeah, it's it's gonna be okay. I think once you get your first heartbreak, you realize when you go through the next one, it's gonna hurt, but you're gonna be okay. Speaking of love is blind, you mentioned love is blind. Have oh, you yes. seen the show? No, I haven't. Love Dude, blind. it's so crazy because like I think they, I have actually. So yeah. they put two strangers in a room next yeah. room, and then they talk under the door and stuff like that, and then they finally meet, and it's so crazy when they meet. And like they're not as attractive as they thought. You could just see in their face, like, oh, shit. <sighs> yeah. Like this girl went viral recently because she was just like, the guy was like, so what do you what do you look like? She's like, uh, you know, my friends always say that I look like Megan Fox, and uh, you know, this and this and that, and I, you know, strangers always tell me I look like Megan Fox, and the guy's like, he's like jumping up and down, like, oh my god, she looks like Megan Fox. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. And then they they show her, and she she's not ugly, but she's got a big chin. Yeah. And the guy's just like, you don't look like Megan Fox. <laughs> and it's like the most cringe shit. See, that, that's just... That's just uh, that's it's the, tough to watch. That's great TV, though. Yeah, that's just, great yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know what question I would the ask. The producer's probably like, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, especially when she said that shit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yes. What question would you ask if you were like in Love is Blind? Oh, like it with the... And then it's like person. Yeah. I'd be like, uh, so how old are you? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I thought like they would be of age. No, I hope so. I mean, I I I only like older women. So yeah. Uh, anything older than me would be a plus. And then I'd be like, uh, so like what you know, uh, if you were to, if someone were to compare you to a Disney princess, which one would you pick? Okay. How many princesses are there? Princess. Uh, there's like twenty. Snow White. There's like twenty. Snow White. Belle. Uh, Tangled. <laughs> fucking Little Mermaid. Fucking. Uh, Sleeping Beauty. Snow White. I can cut this part out if you want me to. Okay. Because uh, you sound fucking stupid. Uh, right uh, you sound like a fucking loser. <laughs> Pocahontas. Okay, what about fucking uh, uh, The Little Mermaid or some shit, dude? I just said that. Okay, what about fucking, uh, I don't know, Mrs. Incredible or some bullshit? I don't fucking okay, know. Anyways, dude. what would you ask? I would just say, well, uh, how many followers do you have? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. You'd be like, uh, so do you know how to edit clips? <laughs> do you know how to edit do you know, do you know the Beatles are? Do you know Paul McCartney is? No, seriously, what would you ask? I would ask, like, let me see. I'd be like, first I would like try to peek through the the hole. <laughs> I'll try yeah, to peek like, through. Can you keep it? I'll yeah. try to peek through. Yeah. And then once I can't do that, maybe I'll try to make a hole through there, a breakthrough. And once I can't do that, I'll just probably be like, like, hey, what do you value in a man? And then she just like, she would say these crazy qualities. And I was like, after every single one, I'd be like, oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, great smile. Yes. Great hair. Yes. Uh, uh, sensitive. Sensitive. Yes. Has a good relationship with his mom. Yes. Big ass fucking juicy cock. Yes. <laughs> Big ass. Yes. A lot of money. Yes. And she's like, whoa, you said yes. I'm your, I'm your dream guy. I'm your dream boat. And then I would just be like, it doesn't matter what you look like, who you are, what you look like, whatever, who you know, whatever. I don't give a fuck. What you look like. Whatever, what you look like, it doesn't matter, but I don't really care. As long as you make me feel like the man that I am, right? As long as you're you, you're my princess, and she's like, of course. And then if I were to see her and she's not what I thought, then you know, you're a sociopath. I'm on my path. Yes, <laughs> I'm on the right path. Yeah. I'm on the right path. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would do something like that. Something like that. That's <laughs> awesome. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And she would be happy because she was like, "Wow, everything that I want in a man is on the other side of this brick wall," right? It's 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 right there. He's within my grasp. Well, all right. So, what if they were just like, so, uh, uh, what, how, what type of man are you? I'm like, oh, well, uh, the kind of man that I have, 
That's such a good question. <laughs> what does it mean to be a man? I am. I, I like to lead. I like to partake. I like to uh, show people what they're made of. I like to inspire people. I'm a kind of man that's like, you'll never have to worry about anything except money and shit. Except <laughs> 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 money. Yo. She'd be like, yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. I'm the type of man that takes care of everything. You'll never have to worry about anything yeah. except for money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah, what? Yes. What? What? That's the kind of guy that I am, though. What would you yeah. say if she asked you that question? What kind of guy are you? you know, what kind of guy am I? You know, I'm 6'5". Yes. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little, um, I'm a little, you know, thick. I'm a little thick around the, you know, around the waist. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? Mm. what? What did you say? Uh, keep going. Keep going. Oh, uh, uh, what, 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 did I say something wrong? A little bit. I just want someone like that has abs and. Uh, oh, I don't have abs. I have asthma. Oh, that's worse. That's worse. Wh- what? You don't have abs and you have asthma. That's like. Wait, I think you're you're being kind of rude. No, I, okay, I keep going, keep going. What else are you? What else no, are you? I, I, no. If I'm wasting your time, I, I don't want to. You're not wasting time. We have all the time to work like 24 hours here. Sure. Give me more. Maybe oh. I'll give you a chance. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Oh, keep you going. might give me a chance. Yeah, keep. Uh, yeah, keep going. Okay. Um, you know, I, I like to I like to paint. I like to draw. Mm. You know what I mean? And I what like can you to, draw? Uh, pretty anything, anything. Uh, and uh, that yeah, I like classical music. Ooh. Uh, and I like uh, also like all types of music. Ooh. And I drive. Which, who's a, your favorite artist? Uh, Kanye West. Oh. What? No, he just he says a lot of wild things. Are you Asian? No. <laughs> oh, would that be a bad thing? No, I just. I'm, I just said you I, say. No, I'm just wondering. Like, I'm just like guessing. No, because Kanye says a lot of wild things. No, and, I know. I, and nowadays he's kind of like a controversial figure. No, no, just forget about Kanye. Are you Asian? If I was, would that be a bad thing? Oh. No, what, 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 I say, what I say? Are you, are you, are you Asian girl? I, I am a girl, yes. You Filipino? Mostly. Okay. Is that a bad, is that a bad thing? No. Is that a bad thing? No, no, no. I, I can change. No. Yes. Don't change. Okay, I won't change. Wait, what would you change into? <laughs> whatever you want, man. I don't know, whatever you want me to be. Well, you're a man. <laughs> I could change it to whatever you want me to be. What else are you? Tell me more details about you as a man like, that might make me want to fuck you. Uh, right? Ask me, ask me more questions, man. Oh, okay. I like to drink. What? Do you, oh, dude, you're terrible. You have so many bad qualities, bro. When you break it down, you're pretty awful. I like drink. I like asthma, I drink. I drink. Uh, I like classical music. I have only one jersey in my closet. Okay, that's not funny, man. That's, funny. that's not too fucking funny. That's too far, close. Too, too close. Too close. But I'm glad though. I'll be more of a love of the spectrum kind of guy. <laughs> you are on the spectrum. I am on the spectrum. No, I'm. I'm like, how do you say close by, but not on it. Oh, you're. Uh, you're. Not perfect. Adjacent. Though. I'm adjacent. Adjacent. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Spectrum adjacent. Spectrum adjacent. Yeah. It's, but, but I'm not on there. I mean, what, 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 if you if you had a if you were a part of like a big network, what type of show would you create like similar to these? Oh, that's a really good question. Yeah. Do you have anything in mind? Yeah, I, I would want. Uh, it, instead of love is blind, it'd be like love is violent, and I would have two contestants try to kidnap each other, and whoever successfully kidnaps the other person chooses where the date, the first date is. I just create a multi-million dollar idea. No, that's stupid. That's really stupid, man. You're gonna kidnap somebody, and they're gonna fear for their lives. And then at the end of the, the day, they're fucking just want to go home and see their families. You're going to say, like, hey, you won. Let's go, out of, let's go to Chick-fil-A or some bullshit. Listen, this is what I'm talking about. You give a note or you give, you give a packet to each person about the details for the other person. And it's just like hunt them down. Yeah, it's also called with this information. It's also illegal in like many states in this country. And we'll find the state that it's not illegal in. What state? What a Louisiana, Kentucky, Missouri. North Carolina, Missouri. Probably. You think that's not le- uh, illegal in those states? Kidnapping is kidnapping, regardless of the state. And if you're gonna do it for content, that's even worse because you you don't value these people's lives. Okay, well there we have the consent. No one's gonna consent to be kidnapped. Yeah, because this is no, like, if, okay. if you consent to get kidnapped, you lose the whole fucking uh, uh, the whole fucking ah <laughs> the allure. <laughs> yeah, the allure. Okay, what would you do then? Huh? What'd you do? <laughs> uh, 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 shut the fuck. Uh, <laughs> you always say that when you don't know what to say. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> like your eyes go blank. You're like, the allure. Huh? <laughs> oh? Uh, uh. Okay, so my show would be fucking nuts. 
That'd be fucking wild. There's a lot of nuts in here. <laughs> My show, okay. Instead of kidnapping, instead of like a love, it's like instead of kidnapping, you would take them to the date. <laughs> You're just describing regular dating. <laughs> Oh, at my show, I would have a party, and, uh, and and if you like someone, you're gonna go up to them and ask them for the, their number. Oh shit! Because everybody's trying to go crazy. Everybody's trying to think outside the box. Oh. I'm like, get back in the fucking box. You're getting back to basics. Back to the basics. My show would document you meeting this person, you taking them home, you saying goodbye, kissing them on the front doorstep, going back home, thinking about them all fucking night, hitting up your homies about the girl that you found that might be the one for the rest of your life. Then you go in two days later to pick them up and take them out to a fucking date. That's my fucking show. It's called Reality of Love. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Yo. Reality of Love. Love is real. Dude, am I capping or spitting? I think you're um, mentally challenged. <laughs> oh, mentally challenging love. Mental challenge love. Yes. Mental cha- the, the love is mentally challenging. <laughs> love is mentally challenged. Dude, you you just hit the Nas, and then you'll say things you love about the other person. <laughs> you hit a Nas below? Just... <laughs> you got nice legs. <laughs> is that a good idea? Do crack? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, I like you, man. I like that. You uh, handle things. <laughs> it's not good. Nah. Okay. Well, this is a good. This is a reason why I'm not a producer or a creator of shows. I'm just a creator. We're just both creators of this. Yeah. I think both of our show ideas are pretty stupid, though. I think mine actually has some legs. I, 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 I'm being real with you. I think real. You're being real. I'm being real with you. I'm being real with you. <laughs> I'm being real with you. Man, shut the fuck up, bro. I'm being real with you. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Listen. I. I. I, I hope. That someday your show gets made, and you know you might, you know, stuff. There might be a lot of consequences of this show. You could be the first season contestant. I'm down to get kidnapped, or do the kidnapping. Nah, I think with that jacket you do. You'd be nah, doing I the kidnapping because I'm a snack. I'm a snatch. <laughs> what? You're the prize. I'm the prize. Like it's me. I'm it. I'm him. I am she. I want to get kidnapped because I feel like I'd be, I wouldn't even fucking trip out if I got kidnapped. You'd be like, oh, you'd be tied up. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, no. This always happens. And then they fucking tie my mouth up. And I'm like, mm-hmm. they put the blindfold over you? I'm like, mm-hmm. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. <laughs> hey, I Nothing will phase me, baby. Okay. All right. Okay. That being said, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, <laughs> like, subscribe. Subscriptions help us the most. And it's an honor to be doing this every week with you guys. Joel, any words? Uh, like and subscribe. This episode was very interesting. It was. It's definitely s- an episode that we made. This episode uh, is one of the episodes we've ever made. And I'm happy for that because maybe the energy was off. Yeah, maybe, maybe I was just angry. Why are you angry? You'll have to find out next episode. Okay, guys. Bye. Bye.